Hey everybody, I'm standing here in my garage and I'm trying to think creatively. We have a resource in Michigan, these returnables. They're empty. My family's been here shut down, staying at home for over 35 days and we do drink pop and yes, you know, we do drink beer to relieve some of the stress we're having. So what do we do with the returnables? They're worth 10 cents. We need a creative solution because I don't want to go stand at a store and most stores have shut down the returnable lanes for concerns of the coronavirus. So what do we do? I don't want the 10 cents back. I don't really need it right now, but I'd love to find a creative solution for all the people whose garages are stacking up. If I look here in my garage, I have, you know, three bags, three big kitchen bags, over $20 worth of returnables sitting here doing nothing. And it's a valuable resource we could put to action our communities to keep people's power on, to keep um, people's homes so they could stay or to feed people that need food. Somebody definitely could use the money. So how many houses have bags like these stacking up? I mean, if you multiply mine, that probably have $20 worth of cans. Go around, everybody has a few dollars worth. If you've drunk one can a day for 35 days, you have $3.50. That adds up real quick. So I, I challenge Meyer, Kroger, our, our big box distributors like PepsiCo, okay, you know, Pepsi, to do something about this problem that's building up in our houses where we can have a single lane drop off where people can just come, hand off a bag of cans, bottles, whether we have to separate them or not, that's up to them to do something. I know that small places like our local breweries in Michigan, we have over a thousand of these small breweries. Here's one of my favorites, New Holland. I know they're gonna try to solve these problems too, but they can only really take back their product and they don't have the resources to take back all of them. The, most of the money's with the distributors. They're the ones who give it to the stores. So the stores and the distributors are where the money is. So how can we unlock those funds in depo can deposits so that it can get out into our communities and be used to help those most in need? So. Uh, I challenge anybody who works for any of those big stores, distributors, uh, Kroger, Meyer, somebody like that to start collecting these so that we can uh, tap into this untapped resource sitting in everybody's garage to help people right now. There's got to be something we can do about it. So uh, if you see this video and know somebody, share it on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you can so that we can find a solution here in Michigan to get those 10 cents out of our garages and into the people in most need. Thanks.